Okay, peace, peace, my peaceful people. What's good? It's your brother, man. Say I knew. We are coming to you from the Harukahuti New Moon. Okay. Actually, it's about a day or so before the Harukahuti New Moon. So I hope I can get these up. Y'all can get them. A good time to uh, adjust your self. All right. All right. So, uh, yeah, not too much to say. Let's get involved. All right. I'm talking about. The good old Brethren Aries. Peace, peace to my people. My Aries Brethren, Aries Sistren. How y'all doing today? Let us get y'all your psycho focus. Okay, here we go. Okay, we get Chef's Hatat. Sheps Hetsep for the Aries. Okay. Alright, Sheps Hetsep for the good old Aries folks. Okay. Alright. Okay, so <clears throat> what's Sheps Hetsep? Well, there's a couple things being speak spoken about here, uh, and it's likely going to be these different scenarios for different folks so you know the first place we would look is we would say chefs would be associated with the ancestors okay so you know this would be a month where you would have access to the chef suit to your ancestors these people these ancestors are going to be you know um, ready for you or nearby you 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 would have ready access with that chef's attack right um, the other area you would look at is family right um, you know, you know what's going on with your family, you know, and is this talking about your family? Or is this other people's family? You know, you have to uh, put that detail on that, right? But this is some way dealing with uh, family, right? Um, like, like I said, either your family or someone else. All right, let's go into the king straight, straight. Straight, 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 stress, straight, straight, stress, straight, open. Okay, we got the forty three into the five, right? Line four stressed. Okay, line four of the 43. Right. That's that line that talks about uh, resistance. And uh, let's see. Let's go in. Let's go into it. Okay, this is line number four in the 43. There is no skin on his haunches, and he walks with difficulty. If he allowed himself to be led like sheep, occasion for remorse would disappear. Even hearing these words, he will not believe them. Right, so this is when someone doesn't listen, right? Normally, the, four, the fourth line depicts a minister and the actions appropriate for him. In this case, this speaks of an intelligent culprit who has been punished for not listening who has been punished for not listening or not following advice given him. If he would accept the suggestions made as a sheep would be allow itself to be led, then his troubles and irate feelings would disappear. But he will tend to remain stubborn and not listen to advice either, but follow his own way adamantly and defensively. However, it is wise if he is a wise minister as a minister Hmm. Let me run that back. However, if he is wise as a minister should be, he will use his advice, this advice, as a guide for removing mean people and influences. Some will take action, some will not. Okay? Alright, so yeah, you get it, basically. I'm pretty sure you guys are perceptive. Y'all rolling with me, right? So, we're looking at this 43, right? This third line on the 43. This is when someone is kind of unreceptive, right? Someone is not listening to advice, right? 43 is the hexagram of resolution. So someone here 
is you know either all the way resolute or not resolute right at this particular line this is something that's hindering resolution right whereas this individual is not quite listening to advice given right um yeah so see how that resonates this goes into the five to five hexagram of waiting right so you could be waiting for something on something and you know uh this be why right or it could go the other way right this could this here line right could this not being able to uh you know uh, 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 uh you know being here stuck at this fourth line could get you waiting put like that all right so we got sheps and the 43 so it looks like so far the sheps are trying to say something that someone is not trying to hear let's go into the tarot Sorry what that was. That was the Queen of Wands in the reverse. Falling out with her was the Six of Swords. Alright, so and on the bottom is the Ace of Cups. So this is in the realm of love or either sex, right? This could be sex and love, right? And the Queen of Wands is in the reverse on the case. Alright, let's write this down. The Queen of Wands at Aries, oh boy, Queen of Wands in the R, she is hanging out with the Six of Swords, so, right, and, oh, and on the bottom, right, on the, all the way bottom, like underneath all of this good stuff is the Ace of Cups, so the motivation is love, right, you see she naked, <laughs> somebody naked right and uh, it was interesting is usually when I flip these I usually got some stuff to kind of read on the outside periphery this is clean look that's clean nothing nothing sticking out nothing wants to say anything but ace of cups all right so it looks like the Aries has love on their mind right and maybe even lust with this queen of wands in the reverse all right looks like the queen of wands wants to uh, uh, either go back to no, it looks like she wants to sell from sell to Kama Waters, right? Uh, and I don't, you know, I'm not sure how it happened, right? Well, she's she's in the reverse, right? And s still wanting to sell or I mean, uh, sell back to Kama Waters, or is this coming from Kama Waters, right? Well, it's not in reverse, right? So the Six of Swords is not in reverse. So I'm gonna look at this as maybe the Queen of Wands probably sees that she's not in the right way. She's reversed. She seems as if she's reversed. So this could mean, you know, involved in her, you know, negativities, right? Her waywardness, right? Her passions, right? Yeah. And uh, maybe she needs to sell to calmer waters. This is what I'm looking at here. Right? Yeah, that's what it's pretty much looking like. Like, uh, and you know, perhaps this has something to do with the 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 chefs. You know, you know, uh, maybe the chefs is kind of trying to influence this here. Uh, uh, Six of Swords mentality. Leave the uh, the BS and kind of <laughs> come back home. I guess. You know. Yeah, I don't know. I guess. Uh, so this is where. It's, let's let's do this real quick. Let's go back to the beginning to see where we are within the year for the uh, Aries. Ok, 
Okay, right. So Aries for us was Heru Hetep for the year, right? We got Heru Hetep for the year and the well into the 59. Mm -hmm. All right, see so yeah, that well. Yeah, that well. All right, so the well goes into the 59. That well, right, so, you know, at the top line, you got clear flowing waters. And at the third line, you have a situation where someone prepares the well, but no one is drinking. All right? All right, so the well is prepared, no one's drinking, and this leads this fifty not leads into this fifty nine, right? Three of Pentacles, so there's a joining perhaps at church or perhaps with others, a uh, page of wands. Hmm. So joining with pages of wands. Um I'm not hmm, let me see. This looks like a uh, some passionate event sparking, right, between people. Right? So this could be a job, this could be a mission that somebody runs, could be a, I don't know, an activity that someone gets into. I don't know. Well, okay, so we got on the table, it's 48 with the 59, right? And this cycle, you're looking at a chef's hetep in a circumstance of a queen or wine situation. So it looks like probably there's a, a, a love kind of situation that the chef's, or the family, right, you know, is kind of staring this person away from, okay, with this Six of Swords, right, and this uh, 43, right, remember, so we said the 43 was someone who's not listening, so, yeah, all right, y'all, y'all take that way that resonate, and we're going to move on, and we're going to say peace and love, and hopefully this helps, right.